What's up guys? This is Andrew Tice here uh, in Warner Robins, Georgia. And today, this is my old trailer. Uh, I am going to try to clean it up and sell it because I don't need it. Um, one of the common questions I get asked by a lot of new guys and guys in general is about sodium percarbonate and when to use it. Uh, sodium percarbonate is good for uh, restains on fences uh, if you're doing a uh, maintenance coat. But sodium percarbonate is good for wood that isn't real moldy or green. It's just dirty. And that's his, that is uh, this uh, here. There's my new trailer, my old trailer. Uh, and today I'm going to clean this with sodium percarbonate, uh, 8 ounces a gallon. Um, I know that that is kind of high. Uh, some things that people might tell you about percarbonate is you can't mix it in a pump sprayer. Um, I have this little relief valve. And uh, this allows me to kind of mix it up with hot water, of course. Uh, and make sure that I'm not over pressurizing my uh, my pump sprayer uh, and you won't uh, with percarbonate uh, as long as your pump sprayer isn't dirty because uh, percarbonate is a peroxide based oxygenated cleaner uh, that's really kind of saying the same thing but uh, and that's what we're gonna do with this today so I'm gonna clean this uh, the steps are to obviously pre-wet the wood apply your soap let it dwell and uh, pressure wash it off now I'm gonna be using my j-rod with my five and a half gallon of machine and that's what we're going to do today, and I will show you what All right, done. guys, and that's it. Uh, that's that's really the gist of what percarbonate does. It's a decent wood cleaner. Uh, it cleans off just general, uh, you know, junk and dirt. Uh, it does not do great with mold and mildew, as you can see here. This green that was in here, uh, whereas bleach or even bleach hydroxide mix or just a bleach would have done just fine there. The reason I used percarbonate was just because I'm just going to stain this. I'm going to throw some dark stain on this to cover all this crap up. Um, as you see over in this corner here, this is where my bleach tank was. Uh, it's it's bad. It's the, the wood is actually decayed like a badly rotting tooth. Uh, it's still solid underneath, so I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, as you can see, uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, just wanted to kind of put this out there just to show guys what percarbonate does, how it works. Uh, it's a simple cleaning process. It's a lot less hazardous than hydroxide and hypochlorite, but uh, it does not do the same job. Uh, hydroxide would have taken these ink, these ink markings from the mill out. They would have taken those out. Uh, they would have been gone. Obviously, if I would have thrown some oxalic on this afterwards, this rust, it would help with this rust. I can't say it would take it all the way out, but it would definitely take a majority of it out. But again, this is going to be somebody's utility trailer when I sell it, so I'm not really too worried about it. So. Let this dry for a couple days and throw some oil-based stain on there uh, and uh, give this thing to somebody else. 